out in Garden City and you're, you're driving around and you can't find a place that doesn't have a lacrosse net. There's games everywhere. There's always tournaments in Garden City. Lacrosse means a lot to this community. It's developed a ton of great people and the community is even tighter than just the community of Garden City as a whole. Here we go, uh, you guys down there, scout down there. We like proving ourselves that we are we are tough and you know we're we're not you know these these white collar lax bros that everyone thinks lacrosse is and, and Garden City specifically. So I think people really do like going out and proving that and, and playing a little bit with the chip on their shoulder and showing people that we're tough and, and we're we're gritty and we'll do anything really it takes to win. Okay, we need to be intelligent here. Understand what hand the guy is. You don't really get that feeling until college when you when you really have already a developed you know rivalry, and obviously the Woodstick Classic is one of the, the most storied rivalries in high school sports. Being able to partake in that rivalry and make a dent in it was was something that I am always proud of. The whole community is is here, even if they don't even watch lacrosse. The games were packed, all the standing areas taken. The crowd is loud. The the kids are going that much harder. Everyone wants to win because it's something you can hang your hat on for a while. Practices were definitely a little bit a little bit harder, a little bit more focused. The leaders are stepping up a little bit more. They're, they're taking guys and holding them accountable. It's definitely a little bit more push to, to beat these guys. It's the Woodstick Classic and then and then playoffs. It's, it's county championship, Long Island championship, state championship, and those are your goals. There's no hiding that. I'm sure it's the same way for, for Manhasset. They, they want to win the Woodstick first and then focus on playoffs. It was definitely a special week. Duke versus UNC, Garden City versus Manhasset. I, I would say that this Garden City versus Manhasset Woodstick Classic is the biggest rivalry in lacrosse. It's, I mean, it's proven to be with all the years and all the stats that, you know, how close the games have been. The wins and losses are, are relatively the same. I would say that this is a little bit more special. You know, the whole community is around it. Obviously, a lot of people who work in, in these towns have worked on Wall Street and they worked, um, you know, in the World Trade Center and they lost a lot. So we went through that, I think, together. So these two towns have kind of meshed together in a sense, but at the same time, when it comes game day, it's like no other feeling. If you look at the history of lacrosse on Long Island at the high school level, Mahasset was the first school to have lacrosse in 1932. We played against college teams at that point, and then eventually Garden City two years later developed their team in 1934, and that's when the rivalry started. When I moved to Manhasset from Brooklyn when I was 10 years old, I didn't know what a lacrosse stick was. I didn't know what the game was. Everyone in town was carrying lacrosse sticks. You know, Saturday mornings was a big deal. PAL, back then it was PVC. You'd play, you know, midfield one day, you play defense the next day, attack, and you figure out what you're really good at and where the town or the grade needs you. And you sort of develop from there. You know, gotta make sure that we're the dictator, we're flying around the field, we're putting ourselves in good position for shots. Right. Hey, everything we do from right now on is full speed to the end of whistle for practice. Right? All right, we got to make sure high energy, right, high octane. Let's make sure we're flying around this field and have a carry over to tomorrow at 7 p.m. Okay, feeling all right? Let's go, hands in, baby. Let's go. Let's have a good one today. Woo! 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 That's 20 minutes to get there for each other. Let's go. Finish that. Let's go. We would pretty much handle everyone. Garden City was always a fight. Very similar towns, hardworking kids, smart, who know the game very well. They have a very strong youth program as well. And either town likes to lose, and that's, that's I think, starts the, the rivalry. It was a big game. We knew it was a big game every time we played them from the PAL level up to the high school level. 
you need to kind of control that, that home base that we always talk about, right? That 10 to 15 yard area outside from the crease area between the hashes. They play very efficient and very well together, right? But again, understand matchups, understand hands, understand your responsibilities out there, and we should be fine. Six offensive guys, let's go. Garcia, why don't you be the Dodger out there, be 21 for us right here. I'm a little biased, but played down at Baltimore and Hopkins. I saw some of the rivalries there. I think this is the biggest rivalry. Definitely, you know, Long Island is, in my opinion, the strongest lacrosse players come out of Long Island. It's a big rivalry, and I, I think it's the biggest high school game in the country. Anywhere I go, California, Texas, everyone knows Manhasset, everyone knows Garden City, and they know about the rivalry. Let's try to be in the full moon. We've got 10 minutes, and we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get talking about these guys. All right, any questions? All right, we'll go with the rest of the stuff in film. Let's go, touch Come it up on time. All right, let's go, get a good night's rest tonight. All right, we'll see each other in film room in 10 minutes here. Get this field cleaned up. Together on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.